Hey kids, Pastor Steve here. I hope you're having a great day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. What do you guys know about St. Patrick's Day? Well, I know about green, right? I mean, you, you see people who are celebrating St. Patrick's, they have a lot of green on. So I busted out my different green items I was able to find around the house. Let me show you a few others. Okay, I've got a green apple, all right? All right, we got a green apple there. Um, how about some green gum? Here we go. Got some green gum there and uh, green soap. How about that? Irish spring soap is green, so that kind of fits in. And a green bag with all my stuff in it and this cord that, um, I don't know, I think it's used for headsets or something like that. But um, we got our little green stegosaurus over here and my little monkey friend here who has a green bandana. All right, I think we're all set. But there's more to St. Patrick's than just green. I want to find out what who St. Patrick was and, and just find out something important that he did. Well, first of all, his name, St. Patrick, actually, he has actually a couple of different names. One is, it's a Britain descent, and it's called Sukhet. Sukhet. And that's, that was his name because that's where he was when he lived in Britain. His Latin name is Patricius. Patricius, can you say Patricius? All right, so uh, he lived in Britain at the time and um, six, 16 years old, and that's in 405 AD. That was a long time ago, 405 AD. At 16 years old, something traumatic happened. Something traumatic happened. Now, I'm getting a lot of these details from a website called AmericanMinute.com. Now, your parents can go there with you and find a lot more details on St. Patrick. But I'm just going to highlight a few here. And there's a lot of other things you can find out there about history. So, something traumatic happened to Patricius at age 16. And he was taken from his home. Can you imagine? Stolen away from his home and he was carried away to Ireland. Ireland, where there was just a bunch of not nice people there. So while he was there, he was there for a total of six years. Yes, a total of six years as a slave. Now, if that was me, I'm trying to think about what it would be like and I think I would be pretty upset. I would be bumming. I'd be missing home and just not liking things there. But you know what happened? He spent a lot of time talking to God throughout the day. He did. He spent a lot of time talking to God. He prayed all the time. And it says that actually he got to the point of praying more, a little more, a little more, 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 to where he was praying about a hundred times a day. Can you imagine that? That's a lot of times. Do you pray a hundred times a day? I don't even know if I pray a hundred times a day. But that sounds like an awesome thing because something awesome happened with all this praying. So he was there for six years. And after that time, he was able to go back to his homeland. Now he was 22 years old when he went back to his homeland. And he was there and he was able to talk to a lot of people about God. And then when he was 40, the Lord was calling him back to Ireland. Are you kidding me? Going back to the place that, that made him a slave? And he did. He went back there and he was able to tell everybody about Jesus. Now the people there, they did not worship God. They worshiped a lot of other things. And so uh, let's say I got this little character here. Let's, I kind of found this. I didn't know exactly what it was. Um, it could have been art or something. But if I put him like this, it kind of looks like a man, doesn't it? And his hands are up and he's worshiping, okay? Well, as I said, they did not worship God. And so let's just pretend that our little Stegosaurus friend here was some sort of God that, that, that uh, he's worshiping. And the people of Ireland, they, they worship the trees, the, the mountains, just a bunch of other stuff, and it wasn't God. And so uh, this was their God. All these other things out there were their God. And... and uh, St. Patrick was called back to Ireland. He had faith. He had strong faith. He knew who Jesus was. He knew the plan that God has for his life. And 
He knew how important it was to be able to share that with everyone he came in contact with. And God had called him back to Ireland. So awesome that he was able to go back and be able to share Jesus with those people there. And so he was able to talk to them, uh, sharing his faith to, to the point of where they were worshiping God. They were worshiping the one true God. And let me just tell you a few things about him. He had 30 years of ministry. In his 30 years of ministry, do you know what? He was able to baptize 120,000 people. 120,000. That is a lot. And he founded 300 churches. Okay? He founded 300 churches. The reason why Ireland knows about Jesus is because about St. Patrick. All he did. So what? why is this important to me, Pastor Steve? Well, let me share this with you. Here's a situation with, with a young boy, age 16, who was taken away from his home. Now, that is a very serious thing. I'm thinking that the day that he was taken away from his home, that was a bad day. And there were probably a lot of bad days after that. And, you know, sometimes when we have bad days, we can get really down. We can get mad. We can get upset. We could just want to do something because we're, it's not working out the way we want it. Well, let's take a look at St. Patrick. What did he do? He talked to God. He just talked to God every day, a whole bunch of times. And look what God did in his life. So that is encouragement for you and for me. Whenever we're having a bad day, we're going through some bad stuff. What do we do? We need to talk to God. And you will be amazed at what God is going to do through your life, just like he did with St. Patrick. Now, maybe some of you might have seen the VeggieTales version of St. Patrick. And so there'll be a web link uh, at the end of this where you'll be able to find that video. It kind of summarizes his story. But I just want to leave you with that challenge that if you're going through a bad day, think about St. Patrick and just talk to God and let God show you what your next steps are, what you need to do. So that's it for me today, and we'll see you back next time. Bye.